Hello everyone, so I've recorded this video like a thousand times and I'm running out of batteries and so I'm going to go through this really quick. Um, I'm not going to explain everything that I did because I use a lot of technique and so um, I'm going to try to explain what I can. Um, for this box right here that I made, I used um, Music Note that I bought from an antique store. What I did was I crumbled it up, I glued it down and I covered the whole thing with these paint right here. This one right here, it's clear and it has glitter in there and then so I just covered the whole thing with it and then before it dried I poured some nudie over it and then I heat embossed it and after I heat embossed it before the embossing um, powder uh, cooled down I poured some glitter over it so that um, the glitter stayed down and so it has that cool feeling and it's hard and so it's um, more sturdy and then for the um, the, the stand right here uh, these are wooden then I just glued it down and then um, I covered it with uh, also acrylic paint, the purple one, and then I just added some um, embossing powder and I heated it in so it gave it that really cool bumpy look. I don't know if you can see it really well. But yeah, and this is the side of it. I just covered with flowers, lace, and add a big bling to it. And then for this, uh, for the front top here, I just uh, glued down this. I took this picture from the computer. I glued it down onto Kane Company's um, paper. Add some trim lace and ribbon around it. Add feather, a ribbon, lace, and butterflies and flowers all over it. Um, behind everything right here, this right here is um, grocery bags. I just glued it down. And so, um, and I just put a bow in her hair to make it look cute and vintage. And then inside, I have a little mini that I'm halfway finished. Um, I can't say I'm fully finished with it. I didn't add no picture to it yet because I wasn't sure uh, what, you know, what I wanted to add. But for the front cover here, um, I used uh, grocery bags again. I didn't want to use fabric because they were too heavy and they were going to weigh down my mini. And so I used grocery bags. And I just bunched it up, glued it around added lace and trim and flower and the feather and then um you know it's actually functional so you could add you know pictures tags or whatever you want in it so it looks really cute and then i just distressed the sides and the inside here it opened it up and then there's a tag and i hold it down with um wires that i slip through eyelids i slip the wires through the eyelid and then um, for this tag, I just distressed it, stamped it, add flowers. This is a lot of pop flowers that I made. I crumbled up the papers, and then um, I just glued it together, you know, for the to make a lot of pop flower. Sorry, but I'm talking too fast. And then I just distressed the side with the vintage folder and the broken china ink. And then on this page right here, I added um, a picture, and, you know, cheesecloth, ribbon, feather, and a bird, and some lace behind here. Um, for this corner here, I used a Martha Stewart punch that was on sale at Michael's for $6, I believe. And so I just punched the side, distressed everything, and then it just opens up like that. This is actually functional, so you can slip a tag or whatever um, in it. On this page right here, I made the window, I cut out strips of cardstock, and I just glued it down, distressed it to make make it look vintage. And then this again is plastic bag with some flowers and some lace. And then for the pot here, I just cut it out of cardstock, added some cheesecloth, and some flowers. And so this opens up like that. This is really cute because you, know, you, can, you can see through it, you know, and so it looks really cute. And then for this page right here, this is a um, die cut chipboard that I embossed with black and gold embossing powder. And then this is a, um, I don't know, a flap envelope. You can just open up like that. And again, you know, I punched this with a March Stewart punch and I just distressed everything else. And then on the bottom here, um, I use cheesecloth. This is a hat with flowers and a bow on it and um, fibers and ribbons. And then on this page, again, I used um, plaster bags, added some flowers, some lace down here, and some ribbon here, and a trim up here to give it that vintage look. This, you can actually slip a picture or whatever you want under it, uh, so it looks like it's under the curtain. 
okay and then for this page um, this is a mannequin um, I um, bunched up a whole bunch of ribbon, glue it down for it to be the skirt, decorated with flower and feather and the trim down here for the waist. And for the shirt, I used a big paper rose and three small paper roses with the silver ones um, to, you know, for the shirt. And then um, down here, I have wire looping out. And then for the page, I just ripped it and distressed it with the um, distress ink. And for this page right here, instead of using embossing powder, I use um, glitter, black glitter. I don't know if you can see, but it's really shiny. It's really cute. But I stamped that image down, and I use glitter instead of embossing powder. And then for this fan I made, I used doily paper. I fold it up like a, like a fan, and then I just uh, cut out strips of black pa paper and just glue it down. This is the trim, and then this is a black rose that I cover with glitter, and I just add feather. And this, you know, you can stick pictures or ties or whatever you want, not just distress all the side. And to bind this together, what I did was, um, like, before I glued down each page, I slipped a ribbon between the pages, and I then I glued the ribbon, I glued the pages down, and so it would stick out of the page. And then, um, I don't know if you can see really well right here, and then I would just tie the ribbon to each page and so by doing this I can um, add on you know more pages in the future if I wanted to um, I don't know if I explained that clearly but um, I'll do a demo on it maybe next time or so but yeah I just completed my mini um, thank you for watching I hope you guys like it um, I was going for a vintage look and I think I kind of achieved it in this um, mini in this box right here um, if you guys have any questions or comment, please write it down. And if you guys, um, uh, you want me to do a demo or anything, just let me know. Thank you for watching.